Hello everyone, let us find the center and the radius of the circle, then sketch the graph given x squared plus y squared minus 6x plus 4y minus 12 is equal to 0. As we recall, etong form ng ating given equation is in the general equation. For us to find the center and the radius ng ating given na general equation, kailangan natin siyang ilipat into its standard equation which is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. Kasi, on our standard equation, yung h natin, tsaka yung k, eto yung coordinates ng ating center. While yung r natin, that is the radius ng ating circle. So, ang goal natin is ilipat etong given natin from the general equation papunta sa standard equation. To do that, ang unang step natin ay pagsamahin muna natin lahat ng x, tsaka lahat ng y natin. Here, we have our y squared tsaka si 4y. Starting with x, meron tayong x squared minus 6x. Pero, ang isa sa method na gagamitin natin para makarating tayo sa standard equation is completing the square. Kaya, ang gagawin ko, I will leave this portion as a blank. Kasi, hahanapin natin yung term dito. Explain ko rin siya memaya. Tapos, kay y tayo, meron tayong y squared. So, this is plus y squared Meron tayong 4y, same as x, iiwan ko ulit yung eto as a blank. So, this is equal to, lipat natin si 12 sa kabila, so this will become positive 12. As we recall our algebra, kapag nagko-completing the squares tayo, para makuha natin yung term na to, kailangan nating tignan yung nasa gitna, si b ng ating quadratic equation. Kasi this is a quadratic equation wherein ang form ay ax squared plus bx plus c. Yung middle term, yung kasama palagi ni x, that is our b. Kaya ang titignan natin dito ay si negative 6. Para makuha natin yung blanco dito, this is b all over 2, tapos kukunin natin yung square niya. I purposely change the color para may reference tayo mamaya. Gagamitin natin siya. Same dito kay y. So, this is still b all over 2 para makuha natin yung term and then kukunin natin yung square niya. Now, let us complete the square as we work here on our equation. For our x, ang b natin ay c, negative 6. So, sa substitute ko lang yung negative 6 dito sa nasa loob nito. x squared minus 6x and then, again, completing the squares, ang b natin is, kaya ilalagay ko dito si negative 6, kasi yun yung b natin, and then divided by 2, tapos kukunin ko yung square niya. So, that is for our x. For our y, kopyahin ko lang ulit siya, so we have our plus y squared, plus 4y, tapos ang b naman natin, yung kasama ni y is 4. So, that is our b, kaya this will become equal to 4 over 2, Tapos, kunin ko yung square niya. And then still, this is equal to 12. Pero dahil nagdagdag ako ng negative 6 over 2 squared, tsaka 4 over 2 squared dito sa ating left side, na wala naman siya initially, kailangan ko rin siyang idagdag dun sa ating right side ng ating equation para equal pa rin sila. So, ang gagawin ko, I will be adding still the same. So, this is negative 6 over 2 squared plus yung inad ko rin na 4 over 2 and then squared. Then simplify na lang natin siya. We have our x squared minus 6x. Ang negative 6 over 2 is negative 3. Negative 3 squared, negative 3 times negative 3, that is positive 9. So this is plus 9 plus y squared plus 4y. Tapos yung 4 over 2 is 2 squared. This is just equal to so, this is equal to 12. Tapos, yun pa rin naman yung dinagdag natin. So, ilalagay ko lang si 9, tsaka si 4 dito sa ating right side. So, this is plus 9 plus 4. Continuing with our completing the squares for our x, tsaka dun sa ating y, pwede na natin silang i-factor. You may use trial and error, pero kapag ka nag-completing the squares kasi tayo, eto will lead to the square of a binomial. Pwede na natin siyang i-factor in the form x plus yung b over 2 natin and then kunin natin yung square nila.
Same with y, we can also factor this as y plus yung b over 2 niya, tapos kunin natin yung square. Applying that dun sa ating equation, meron tayong x, tapos ano nga ba yung b over 2 niya? You have to look for our b over 2, that is negative 6 all over 2, or simply negative 3. Kaya ang gagawin ko dito, this is just negative 3 minus 3 and then squared. Plus, punta tayo kay y, so we have our y plus ano naman yung b over 2 ni y? That is simply 4 over 2 or just 2. Kaya this is plus 2 and then squared. Kaya natin simplify yung x squared minus 6x plus 9 natin as x minus 3 squared. Ganon din naman, kaya natin simplify si y squared plus 4y plus 4 as y plus 2 squared. Then working on our right side, this is equal to 12 plus 9 is 21 plus 4, this is equal to 25. We are close pero hindi pa. Kasi as we recall, ang standard equation ng circle is x minus h squared plus y minus k and then squared is equal to r squared. Kailangan yung equation natin will follow this form. Kaya sundan natin siya. Itong x minus 3, okay na tayo. x minus h na siya. Kaso itong y plus 2 ay, ito ay nakapositive. So, babaguhin natin yung sign niya. Rewriting our equation, we have x minus 3 and then squared plus this is y. Tapos, gagawin ko siyang subtraction and then yung positive 2 ay magiging negative 2 and then this is all squared. Tapos, this is equal to Ang kailangan natin is r squared. Kailangan natin ng exponent na 2. Kaya kukunin natin yung square root nitong 25 natin. The square root of 25 is, is equal to 5. Kaya itong part na to will just become 5 squared. We have our h, we have our k, and then we have our r. Kaya given our equation, ang center natin is hk. Ang h natin is positive 3. Ang k natin is negative 2. And our radius is just equal to 5. Ito na yung circle natin. Ang kailangan na lang natin gawin ay sketch yung ating graph. Here we are dun sa ating Cartesian plane. Hanapin lang natin si 3, negative 2. Ito yung center ng ating circle. So we have our positive 1, 2, and then 3 sa x-axis. And then sa y-axis we have negative 1, negative 2. Kaya ang center natin ay nandito. Since ang radius natin ang 5, kailangan natin umusod ng 5 units to all direction. Pero in this case, gagawin na lang natin yung apat na nasa kanan, kaliwa, taas at baba. Let's start with our right. So from the center, ito yung center natin, C. So we have to move 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 5 units. So this is our first point. And then sa kaliwa naman, usod din tayo ng 5. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, and then ito yung point natin. And then, sa taas, from the center, radius is 5. Usod tayo ng 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 5. So, eto siya. And then, lastly, sa baba, usod tayo ng 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, and then 5. This is our point. Last step, sketch na lang natin siya. If you want to be more accurate, gumamit tayo ng compass. Pero, freehand lang ako. Kaya, expect na hindi ako makakabuo ng perfect circle. So, let us try this one. Mula dito, akit tayo. Pupunta dito, dun sa baba, pabalik dun sa ating starting point. Sa drawing ko, hindi siya naging perfect circle, pero ayun yung idea. If you want to make this more accurate, as I've said, pwede tayong gumamit ng compass. At eto na yung circle ng ating equation na x squared plus y squared minus 6x plus 4y minus 12 is equal to 0. Thank you.